I'm David Chabalala, aka Slain Goliath. So I grew up in a very small town called Harrismith um, in the Free State. I was born just outside the Bethlehem. So the story behind my name is obviously David comes from my parents. Um, I was born in Bethlehem, so I haven't really asked them, but I assume it's because of that. Um, King David in the Bible was born in Bethlehem. And with the reference to with slain Goliath, it's obviously also um, David in the Bible overcame the giant Goliath. So I like the concept behind that, just, just the ability to overcome obstacles that are bigger than you. As a child, I was very shy. I was very quiet. I also had a very bad stutter. So when I talk, the thing of just repeating words a lot um, before finishing a sentence. So it was very, I was teased a lot. I was laughed at because I just had a very bad uh, like stutter. So even to this day, I've, I've just been trained to breathe, breathing exercises just to, just to talk so that I can, I can get my words out properly. I realized I had talent quite early in my tertiary education in my first year. Um, I think compared to my other, my other classmates, I had a more natural like talent and just an ability outside of the computer, um, just hand drawn on paper and just expressing myself conceptually. The way I nurtured my talent was uh, practicing, not really practicing, but just, yeah, just doing what I do daily. So it didn't have to be class or before class um, for me to, um, to just like design stuff and just be creative and just conceptualize things um, in a creative way. Um, not just drawing, but just seeing where I, can up, where I could apply my work. So Run The World worked as a concept, as a name, um, because I took that from Beyonce's hit song at the time, Who Run The World, um, Girls. So I just, again, I make a lot of reference to pop culture, what's happening, and I put that into my work. So it just resonates with everyone. So you don't have to love Beyonce or like her, but you know of her and that. And so I bring that into my work. Um, it just, it's just, um, it resonates. My artistry is influenced by everything, the world around me. Um, because we don't exist in a vacuum. We, we, I'm, part of, I'm part of the community like everyone else. I also have things that I like that I don't like. So I'm influenced by my surroundings. So the narrative I'm trying to tell through Dictionary is um, I'm actually just trying to build up um, a library of just monumental events happening in our country and in the world. But I'm trying to do that in an entertaining way. Um, so I always make reference to like Zapiro how his cartoons, they, they capture moments in time. Um, but over time, over years, there's a library of sort of imagery that takes you back to monumental events, you know? So I'm trying to build up a library of, of, of visuals that just tell the story of, of what's happening in the world and of our country. And I think that's why it's easy for me to uh, think of things like making it a book or making it t-shirts, um, just making it live beyond the stuff you see on social media. Right now, there's a youth day piece I've done recently. Um, it's on my, it's on my, it's on my timeline. It's on my platforms, and it just speaks to. I've just tried to sum up what youth day means to me, and the comment section also. And there's so much value in there because you see people disagreeing and agreeing and arguing like my art, and and that's what art should be. It should be there to be critiqued and spark like debate and conversation. So I think my favorite work right now is the youth day artwork because people are actually like debating it. So it shows the value that I want my work to have. To upcoming artists, um, I'd like to just advise them to keep on sharing their work, not only sharing their work on social media, but doing it conceptually, telling a story. So using, using that digital platform as a medium. Um, just like TV, you don't just see pictures on TV, you don't just see slideshows and clips, but there are stories, there are series, there are comedies, there are, there are, there are dramas, there are horrors, There's, there are conceptual stories like being told. So just do the same thing with your social media platforms. Just be creative with how you share your work and just engage with your followers and act like a big brand.